Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am having some Thai food, so let's dig right in because I'm starving. So today I have pad thai, chicken pad thai, as well as thom ka, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's basically a coconut soup with mushrooms. Yeah, I've had it only once before and it was so good. First bite. Mmm. Spicy. I love it. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's hot. <sighs> I am loving it. It has the perfect amount of spice for me to a point where like I can feel my face sweating already. But my mouth isn't like going overboard, you know, where I'm like. All right, let's get into the soup. Oops. All right, I kind of want to mix it around because I see that there's chili flakes. So I want that to be evenly distributed. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hot. You see that steam? Mm. It's sweeter than I remember. I'm sure it's from the coconut. I was about to go for a tom yum, but to be honest, tom yum can be a little too sour for me. Paired with a pad thai, it's like, you guys know I can't eat too sour. Mmm. So I got a bowl of rice here. I love eating my soup with rice. It's just what I do. Mm -mm. Mm. This is heavenly. Oh. 
Oh, you know it'd be spicy when I need. I'm like drinking way more water than I usually do. I love how they're both still super hot in temperature because sometimes I just be eating lukewarm or like room temperature food and it just doesn't hit the spot. I feel like I was eating really fast earlier. The chicken is not dry at all, which is surprising because it actually looks pretty dry, but when you bite into it, it's actually pretty tender. And I love that. Mm. I added the green onions on top of this because I have so many green onions and it makes everything so much better. My mouth is burning now. <gasps> mm -mm -mm. I kind of want to take a small break to kind of settle my stomach because I feel like I did eat that way too fast and my stomach's just like twirling around. So, what topic did I want to speak on today? Okay, so you guys know that I've been... I did state in one of my previous videos a couple months ago. Okay, the burps are coming. <laughs> Excuse me. I stated a couple months ago that I've been really trying to work on not being reactive to negativity or people's opinions because, you know, the number one reason for like depression, I feel like it's caring too much about other people and their opinions and whatever, you know? And I've been actually doing so well, guys. Like, I don't find myself um, replying as much. The more I don't reply, the more, like, the less hate I have to respond to, which I feel like, you know, it's just relative like that. But the other day, someone sent me a DM, and this person, I've kind of been, I mean, we've been acquainted with each other for quite some time. I've never met him in person. But, you know, he's been, I think we've been following each other since I started. My mukbang, so he sent me a DM on Instagram because I posted my personal IG this one day when I was like at the beach and I totally regret it. But anyways, <laughs> he decided to go through all my old pictures and then send them to me just to tell me that, um, my lips look because i do have lip injections i'm sure i've told you guys already but he basically bluntly said lip injections look so bad or like they said he said they look terrible on me i look so much better natural and i should not inject and to trust him he's like trust me i'm like so already that day i was having a pretty crappy day already so my mindset wasn't in a stable calm place so I, and I actually took a break. I like I read it and then I just like put my phone away for a while and focused on something else. But I still felt the need to say something because first off, what what adjustments people do on themselves is for no one else. Like I, I think I replied, I was like, you act like I got these fillers for you. And he was like, that's not what I said. Don't get mad. It's just it was just a thought. I said. First off, if no one asked for your two cents on their appearance, then you damn well should not be commenting on it. And like, what I, what else I say? There's something on the lines of that, right? And then like, you know, he's replied, ha ha ha. I know it didn't affect him, but I was like, I need, cause I'm sure if he did it to me, I'm sure he's doing it to a lot of other women. I'm just like, it just made me feel like it didn't really mess with my, ins like it didn't make me feel insecure. It didn't make me doubt myself at all. It just angered me that there's people out here thinking they can just say whatever 
and to the extent to the extent that he did because he sent like six pictures and he was like you look so much prettier without fillers blah blah blah, blah. and i'm like oh my god like yeah i just want to share with you guys and then if anyone feels like it's the right thing to do to let someone know that their what they're doing or how they look isn't to your standard don't do it because most of the times they don't give a they don't give a crap okay astounding to me i just don't get people how they think like the things they say are okay like it's just strange to me yeah and then it's not like it's not like i hate them any like hate them or anything now but i'm just i just totally view them differently for sure Alrighty. Yum, yum, yum. So comforting. Oh, I'm full, guys. <laughs> I feel like today I'm so much more calm compared to like the high energy I'm usually in. Like, and I feel like I'm less bubbly, and it really shows that you know your personality does waver throughout the days. Like, I do have a lot of energy. I feel amazing, but I just feel like I just want to be chill today. Cause some days I'd be like talking to myself, cause. <laughs> when I'm home, I'll just be talking to myself and today I'm just going, going with the flow I feel like I'm containing my energy today for some reason I don't know for what, but that's what it feels like let's get into the rating, 1 out of 5 I have to say it, it's a 5, I have no complaints whatsoever the only thing that I wish that they gave me on the pad thai was bean sprouts I don't know why I love bean sprouts on my pad thai because after a while the textures do kind of just blend together and you're kind of like that's why I was kind of like grabbing the onions because I wanted like a little bite of something different and I feel like with the bean sprouts that's it provides like the crunch that you know I feel like it needs and this is perfectly sweet and sour at the same time all right guys thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like and subscribe also turn on push notifications and I'll see you next time peace